Okay, I got the new George here, FCC. Just a quick video. I know uh, everyone wants me to do a review, but I feel like the reviews kind of that are out there have already said enough of how good this radio is. So 390 Wagon Master did a couple of really good quality videos already. Um, he touched on the topic about why why it look or you know it looks like a Bearcat 980. Everybody has said that. I'm not denying that. But then he shows the differences, the internal, um, the casing, how this is made, how much better it is, how much more robust it is. Watch his video. You'll you'll get a lot from that. It's a really good video. Um, Radio Garage already showed it on the test equipment, so I don't really need to go into that. Obviously, you can trust what he's showing. It's good, and it's good here, so I don't see any differences there. Um, you can watch his video and see all that cool stuff. Um, so yeah, the only thing I'll really touch on here is the difference between this and like the Europe model that everybody says, well, you know, it doesn't have this and it doesn't have that. Well, I guess the, the answer to that question would be maybe email president and ask them how come Europe gets these options and the USA and Canada doesn't. Um, and probably, I don't know if they would answer that or I, I can't speak for them. But I'll give you my quick understanding of the difference would be is the telecommunication uh, conformity of maybe some of those other countries that President markets their European line to. They may be way more lenient and not have as strict of uh, requirements. And that may be why, you know, when you see that George 2, why it does certain things that this radio will not do. And that's the only, I guess, answer I can give you. So if you're in Europe, you can probably speak on that more. They probably, President's been doing business in Europe much longer, I think, than they have in America. Because I think there was a certain time in like maybe the late 80s or 90s where they actually left the American market for a while. And then when they came back, I think it was a, a an understanding that they would conform to the, you know, what this requires. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that from a CB standpoint. I think that it's good. I think that, you know, if you're an amateur radio operator and you appreciate a radio that can do like the amateur bands plus like this band, which, you know, your technical HF rig can do the same thing, um, then, you know, you might want to migrate more towards those radios. But if you only like CB, then I think this is the better option for you and you know I heard it time and time again when I show other president whether it's an AM only or AM FM radio well uh, you know I might buy it if it had sideband that was always the general consensus and I wish they would give us a different sideband radio well is it everything everybody wants I don't know you, you I can't answer that what everybody else wants but it's very nice would we like to see maybe a base station? Sign me up for that. Um, would we like to see maybe another President model that has the retro look with the analog meter? Yeah, you could probably sign me up for that too. They could make like maybe a... Uh, uh, make like a... I know they've already had that in Europe, and I think it failed miserably. I think, uh, what was it called? The President Grant Classic. It was a cool-looking radio, but I don't think it did very well. Um, I think that they try things, and when they don't work, they they probably don't go back to those. Uh, but I think a lot of that was more the factory that was making the boards and stuff. Maybe the reliability wasn't as good as what we're getting now. But I would love to see, like, maybe... A, Another model that has all these same features and more of a retro look. Kind of like a, you know, like that Superstar 3900 that came out in Europe that's technically a CB as well. Has the retro look. Probably less features and all that. But, you know, I like the retro look too. But I really appreciate this look. I think it's really cool. So, I'm not saying that I'm not satisfied because I am. But... I'm like an avid user and I would always love to see more options like like imagine this if we had this like display and I'll come back over here to this radio 
put that display where that display is, like this. And then maybe the buttons right here would conform maybe to like these buttons. And then, you know, obviously you could change the layout of some of the controls and stuff. And, and, and the front firing speaker is really cool on this radio and all that. But I'm just saying I think maybe they should experiment and, and look into that. I don't know if they ever will because I feel like they think that people wouldn't buy it. And we have to understand from their standpoint it's about making money. And they're not going to make something if they don't think people would buy it. And they made this, and it sold quite well in Europe, and it's just new to America. So hopefully, you know, if we support radios like this, and we constantly email them, because you can email them, you know, down in Florida, email President Electronics USA and, and tell them how much you like the products and that you appreciate them giving you a different option than what you've already had and stuff like that and let them know that you would love to maybe see a base station with some of the same features and the same circuitry as this radio in a base format if they get enough requests they may actually investigate that because what what else do we have for like a base station right now for real cb like a, a galaxy 2547 it's okay i have one considered maybe selling it but difference between that radio and this radio it's night and day difference this radio is so much better so much better feature wise everything just better so open that line of communication telling me these things there's nothing i can do i can tell them every day of the week but i'm only me if the users and the avid CB radio community of America and Canada and throughout the world, if you contact these businesses and tell them, we would love to see a base station come out, something, you know, something that, you know, and tell them, you guys, I own one of these, it's outstanding, you did a great job on it, and I would love to see, like, you know, the base station, and I'm not even expecting there to be, like, a, a power supply in it, maybe just have a 12-volt a out like an HF rig, most of these HF rigs don't have built-on PSUs, the power supplies. You just supply your own. Most most of us have one. You can do it. You can power it yourself. I mean, that's going to be easier to build. You just build the cabinet around it. I mean, I think that they don't think as a business that they would sell enough of them to do it. But I truly think that that's a mistake in that if, if they got enough requests, I think they would probably do it. And I think the base station would do really well too. But that's kind of jumping ahead of things. I mean, this is just new. We really need to get these out in, into the radio community and really let people experience, you know, how good this radio actually is. You can you can take what I'm saying. You can take what like Radio Garage says and Three Nine Zero Wagon Master and Farpoint Farms and, and the other guy Mike Cricket and all these guys that say how good it is. And I'm saying how good it is. And some of us sell them. Some of us don't. But until you experience it yourself and you make your own conclusion, I mean, you guys are also the radio community, not just us. So, you know, and the guys on YouTube and all that. So everybody's going to have an opinion. Email these guys. Let them know what you think. If you think that they could do something better, let them know. I, they're open. They want to hear. It's not just them making decisions. It's a lot of input from the users in the community. They need to know what, what the people want and what they don't want and what they want to see. So... You know, like I say, commenting on my videos and telling me what you want, you know, you can also do that. And I may or may agree or disagree, and there's nothing wrong with that either way. But at the end of the day, I mean, we are the, the community. And if we are the ones buying the radios and using them, I think they owe it to us at a certain point to give us kind of what we want at a certain point based on what they have available for technology. And I just wish that, you know there was a base station option as well because i think they did did us right with this radio um and until more of you guys experience it um then that'll that'll come later uh the reviews will start to come online and stuff and a lot of times guys leave good reviews bad reviews you know everything will come later but i can't see where anybody's not going to like this i really can't i think it's an outstanding radio so that's enough i mean i guess maybe that's my review it's more opinion based but take it for what it is watch the other guys videos everybody did a really good job showing things talking about the radio 
Uh, 390 Wagon Master says he's going to do a bunch more. Uh, I think CBRadioMagazine.com, I saw something he said he was going to do a video. So watch those videos and take in all the information and uh, make your own honest assessment of what you think about it. But, you know, for a CB radio, I think the backbone of CB is just normal 1 through 40. I think we should all use that more than the other frequencies and stuff like that. We should really try to just show that we we really care about these channels 1 through 40 and using them is going to it's going to send a message that we don't want this stuff to go away. We want to keep what we have. Cuz I know in the amateur radio world there's been some talk about uh, the FCC uh delegating some frequencies very close to HF to some commercial interests and stuff. And we really don't want that to come near this band because this is all we have for an unlicensed band here. And, you know, they could they could do anything they want like this. And we don't really have power against that. So we want to make sure that we're using these frequencies. So if they're monitoring them at any given time, they're going to see that they're being used. And instead of them going and be like, well, nobody's really on these. But then all of a sudden we go up above here and there's tons of activity up here. And they're not even supposed to be there. Or there's tons of activity down below here. So maybe we ought to start delegating some of this to something else. We don't want that to happen. That'd, that'd be a shame. I'm not saying it's going to, but the more we use these channels, better chance of that never happening. All right, that's enough of me blobbing on about this and that and everything else. Uh, I really enjoy this from an operator standpoint. I think it's really good. And it looks good on this stuff, so... We'll continue on with these as uh, time allows. And I uh, hope everybody has a happy new year. And hope that you had a Merry Christmas. And uh, we'll catch everybody later. Take care.